So remember in my last WAP phase, I used to go out quite a lot. I would basically discipline myself to go out as much as possible. So I'd be sat there doing my work and out of nowhere my parents would jump in. They'd be like, oh yeah, we're going out. And I would not want to go out. And yet I would tell them, okay, yeah, let, let's go. And because I would do that, I would get quite a lot of growth to the point that my friends in school would tell me, man, like your, your life is so bright. Like you have such an amazing lifestyle. And th it's because they could see how much of an amazing lifestyle it actually was. And this is the importance of pop phases. You see, every single influencer you look up to does this. They will switch between pop phases and growth phases. If you don't know what these are, I made a video on this like a couple of days ago. I'll probably place it somewhere above here. But in short, basically a pop phase is when you go out, you do awesome shit, you live the Tate lifestyle and you record it. And then for more so the growth phase, it's more so like this monk mode period that everyone talks about where you basically just cut off all distractions and you sit there, but it's it's a bit more different. I talked more about the growth phase in that video. I'll probably just leave it, I, again, I left it up above there. But basically this is like, in that video I talk a lot about this, but in this video I want to specifically talk about more, like more about the pop phase because I didn't really emphasize the pop phase before. And so I kind of want to emphasize the pop phase in this video. So what is the main reason why you would go on a pop phase? It doesn't make any sense. Why should I just hoe around and record it? And like that, like what, what is the thing that I'm going to be getting? Well, you see, most people lack the amazing lifestyle. You need to have this lifestyle that, oh yeah, you know, like people would actually want to swap lives with you because this is a key, like this is a key thing. People will live boring ass lives, record it and expect that people will want to swap lives with them. When in reality, people don't want to swap lives with you because your life is boring as fuck. But now, how about you go out, do some amazing shit and record it. And then people will actually more likely want to swap lives with you because they'll see how bright your life is. That you're going out that, like every other night, that you're eating dessert and that you're having fun. People will want to swap lives with that guy as opposed to you. Now, of course, this is more so for people who are like, who don't have any other objects. So for instance, you have a lot of women, you get a lot of women. Well, then you already have this asset. You don't need to go out as much, or maybe you have quite a lot of money. You're living an amazing lifestyle. Well, you wouldn't need to go out, but for the average individual who's like, who's in the pursuit of getting those things, you will want to show a lifestyle that's actually attractive. So people want to follow you. And you do that by simply going out and doing all this amazing shit. And that's what we call the pop phase. And so the reason you do a pop phase is because you want your pre-existing fans, the fans you already accumulated to actually like you, like your lifestyle more and want to swap lives with you more, which means they'll listen to you more, watch your videos more and want to learn from you more because they want to swap lives with you and they would want to create your life in their own life. But I mean, the issue is people will go on pop phases and they don't even have the audience and they usually don't do it quite right. And so you have to identify like where you are in the spectrum. Do you actually need the pop phase or is it more like a growth phase? And again, like I left that video somewhere above there, like in, like in the previous video, I'll probably also leave it in the description, but do check that video out. I talk about how you can identify if you are in need of a growth phase or a pop phase. I explained both like quite in detail. But I believe I jumped into growth way more than pop. And that's why I'm making this video after all. So in your pop phase, many people make this mistake in not actually doing the work that they need to do. And so they will hoe around, but then they won't do their main work, which means that they won't actually be getting the results. This is just a supporter and an, and an increaser for the results that you will be getting and the effectiveness of those results. But you still need to be doing the work. Like imagine if I started going like out, but I didn't record these videos. Well, my channel would die because, well, I'm not recording the videos, but then I'm recording the videos and I'm going out at night. That's a lot more commonsensical because now I'm doing the main frog task, the main work that actually needs to be done, but then I'm going out in the night and sure it's not as like the videos that I'm recording are not as good as if I was full like growth phase, but they're still in a level where you can maintain that and focus on the pop of making your lifestyle so like 
seekable that people actually want to swap lives with you. So there are a couple of key actions in the pop phase. The first is that you will do your frog task as soon as you wake up. You will wake up and immediately you will like fasted, you won't eat nothing, just maybe make a black cup of coffee and do the fucking work. Record the video, maybe videos if that's your thing. And then you edit them, upload them, have them all readied out. And then you can start thinking about other shit. You go to the gym perhaps, and then after you're done with the gym, you immediately go out to a cafe. And you don't just go out to a cafe. You will want to make it as bright as possible. And so like for the next step, it's that you preferably go out with others because who's going to take the picture of you, right? And so this is one of the main things. You want to go out with others and that you also want to go out to a very nice place. Imagine if you went to some stupid fucking place that's like crumbled all over. Well, people don't want to swap lives with you because it doesn't seem like a very like high class cafe. And of course, it doesn't have to be a cafe. I'm giving the example of cafe. That's because that's what I used to do. But like you can go out to maybe mountains, go on a hike or some shit. It depends on really what you're trying to sell to. What are you trying to sell to? And you can simply like market. This is kind of like another marketing way or making your lifestyle just look way better. So you will want to go out as much as possible. Remember in the start of the video, I told you I didn't want to go out. I felt way more comfortable sitting here than wearing a suit and going all fucking like chick like classied out. And so this is like some of the main stuff here. You will want to discipline yourself and you will have to like, I probably should have said this earlier, but you really need to understand the importance of this because this is a work task for you. If your audience don't want to swipe lives, lives with you, then they're not going to buy your product. They're not going to support you. They're just going to be there watching your videos. I mean, who knows? Maybe they won't even watch your videos. And so you will want to make your fans like your lifestyle so much that it becomes an addiction for them to watch your videos, to learn from you as much as possible. And this is the main thing. You will discipline yourself to go out after having understood the importance of this thing. And you will discipline yourself to literally go out and to just do this as much as and as frequently as possible. Then as you have the right mindset and you're actually like you're abusing every single occasion you can, then it's just about actually doing it effectively. So go out with others. So go out and have your friends with you. Maybe it's your family or some shit. It doesn't matter. Simply go out with others so that others can take a picture of you. If you really can't do that, then honestly, just find a stranger and tell them, hey, could you take a picture of me? Maybe like a, like that. Maybe like tell one of the waiters to come here and like just take a picture of you and like act all cool and shit. And like this is like another alternative. Just find a way to actually record it. Because what's the damn point if you're holding around, you're not even recording it. No one's going to see it because you're not taking pictures. You're not recording it. And so what's the damn point? And so this is also one of the main things here. Just actually record it because what's the damn point if you don't record it? And so if I were to really revise this to you again, it would simply be as follows. Understand the importance of the pop phase. Do your hardest task first thing in the morning so you can actually do your other stuff. And then immediately just try and find every occasion you can to actually like make a, a pop session. And then once you can have a pop session where it's just like you recording this stuff and you abuse every single like thing that you can get your hands on to make like into a pop session, then it's just about doing it like very greatly. And so always try and have it with your friends, maybe invite them if like if you don't have friends, maybe like go out with your family. And if you really can't have others with you, then honestly, just ask a random person to do it for you. So maybe it's like the gym for you. You actually want to record yourself in the gym. Well, ask some random dude to record you in the gym. Maybe have like a tripod and just set the camera there. If your gym doesn't allow it, then like try and sneak it around. Just honestly, just do it. Like there, there are plenty of ways to do this. Like this shouldn't be a cope for you because you'll realize the importance of this. Like if you don't go on pub phases, people won't want your lifestyle because you don't, you're not even showing a great lifestyle. So what's the damn point? But in any case, that's kind of what I want to go through. I just kind of want to tell you about my coaching real quick. So I do private one-to-one -one coaching calls where I literally sit down with you and I'll help you to reach whatever it is that you want to optimize for in life. I do life optimization coaching calls. So basically you choose that you want to optimize for business. You want to actually be like scaling your business. Well, I can help you with that because I'm already doing this right here. And maybe it's not business, maybe it's something else, but really like I'm trying to like phase this around the concept of this video or like the thing that I'm talking about in this video. And so you want to actually be a better influencer. Well, I can help you with this stuff. And 
If it's something else, if it's maybe like building an aesthetic body, if it's quitting addictions, maybe it's fixing your mental health. All these things I've gone through myself, and so I can help you to go through these as well. If you're interested, I'll leave my Instagram as the first link in the description. You can DM me to learn more. But in any case, that's kind of what I want to go through. Make sure to subscribe if you want to show me that you're part of the tribe, that you're committed to the message, that you actually want to improve your life, and that you actually want to support yourself, and that you understand the importance of being an influencer, and that you actually want to live a brighter life. And make sure to like this video if you want me to make more videos like this one. Talking about weird tactics of observing like the largest influencers like that exist on this planet. And actually like decoding them and telling you the secrets that they do. And finally, if you commit to the work, you will be getting the results.